Welcome back to Planet Doug. I've been in Madan for over a month now, and I realized that I still hadn't gone to one of Madan's biggest attractions, this building, which is called the Zhong Afi Mansion. It's over a hundred years old, and it's a big part of Madan's history. But before we go inside and uh, take a tour, I thought I'd give a little bit of background. It's kind of important to understand a little bit about this building. For one thing, this mansion was actually a wedding present from Zhang Afi for his third wife. And Zhang Afi was a very important part of Madan's history. He immigrated from China to uh, the Dutch East Indies when he was only 18 years old. And he quickly became a successful businessman, a philanthropist, and a key leader in the community. Um, he built a lot of the buildings in Madan, including he helped pay for the Grand Mosque and the uh, clock tower of the uh, Madan City Hall. But more important than that, he was kind of a mediator between all of the ethnic groups and all the nationalities in Sumatra at that time. So seeing this house and taking a tour is quite a bit more than just seeing a beautiful house you get to learn a lot about the life of Zhang Afi, and through that, you know, you learn about the history of Madan. So, let's meet our lovely guide for the day and uh, start on our tour. Uh, well, let's start from this picture. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Chong Afi with his family. His family? Yeah. And this picture was taken in 1920 at his uh, 60th birthday celebration. Yeah. Now, uh, a year after this picture was taken, Mr. Chong Afi has been passed away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just one year later. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Chong Afi came from uh, Guangdong, China, and he came to Medan to start a business. Uh, Mr. Chong Afi have three wives, yeah. the first wife from China, the second wife from Penang, Malaysia, mm -hmm. and the third wife from uh, Binjai, North Sumatra. And this is the third wife. Oh, the third wife. Yeah. And uh, this is a museum built uh, by Mr. Chong Afi as a wedding gift oh. yeah, to the third wife. So that's why in this museum we just want to talk about the third wife and her generation. I see. Yeah. So. Uh, from his married with the third wife, Mr. Chong Afi has seven children. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the first daughter with her husband from Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. The second son with uh, his wife from Taiwan also. Uh -huh. And this is the third son, the fourth son, okay. the fifth daughter, the sixth son, and the seventh son. Uh -huh. And the other in this picture is the family from the third wife. Yeah. Okay. It's a really good picture. Yeah. From back then. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So that is Zhang Afi oh, yeah. is himself. Zhang. Okay. And I understand he's very important to Madan, mm -hmm. the city. Why is he so important? Uh, because uh, he is uh, as a mayor. Mayor? Mayor or leader of Chinese people in Medan. Okay. And uh, he also contributed to build uh, like church, temple, and mass in okay. uh, people in Medan. So, mm -hmm. so uh, right. we can see over there. Uh, over here we can see, this is the picture uh, Mr. Chong Afi when he was 40 years old. 40 years 40. old? 40 years old. And in this picture, Mr. Chong Afi used uh, wearing, wearing his imperial Mandarin robes. Uh -huh. uh, and Mr. Chong Afi appointed by Dutch government to be a mayor or leader of Chinese people in Medan. Okay. I read that his brother was the leader before. Yeah, Chong Yong Hian. But his brother passed away yeah. and then he became the leader of the yeah. Chinese yeah. community. But the one I was reading about him mm -hmm. and the thing I found the most interesting mm -hmm. is that he represented all of the cultures and religions. Yeah. So he built temples yeah. and mosques 
And like for and, yeah, Muslim community, Kurdish. Chinese, and Indian maybe? I'm not yeah, sure. Indian. Christian. So um, he included all the different people yeah, of, of Sumatra. Yeah. All right, very interesting. Okay, so uh, let's continue to the next room. Okay. Nah, uh, this room is a special guest room. Special yeah. guest yeah. room. Back in the day, Mr. Chongafi used this room to welcoming the family from uh, Sultan of Delhi. And over there, we can see. Nah, uh, this is the picture of number nine Sultan of Delhi. Right. And uh, he uh, owner of the Maimun Palace, and also uh, leader of Malay people in Medan. Mm. Nah, they are best friend. Uh, they are best friend, uh, so that's why uh, they are contribute to build a grand mosque in Medan. Yeah, over there we can see the picture. All right. Yeah. yeah, that's why I came here today. I visited the mosque. Oh, and, when? And but three days ago. Oh my God. And the uh, palace. Mm -hmm. And I heard that Zhang Afi yeah. helped pay for yeah, but so. this mosque, you yeah. know, to build it, as well as the palace. I think he helped pay for the palace, or only the mosque? Uh, only the mosque. Only the mosque. Yeah, okay. only the mosque. And uh, until now, the generation of Sultan of Delhi and Mr. Chong Afi have a good communication. So that's why in this picture we can see. This is the number 14 Sultan of Delhi. Oh. Uh, meet with uh, Madame Mimi. Madame Mimi is Chong Afi. Uh, grandchildren oh, from okay. the fourth son, and uh, her is owner this museum. Oh, yeah. I see. So his dis his great grandchildren grandchildren are still alive yeah. today, and they still, still live alive. in Maidan. Yeah, uh, Madame Mimi uh, live in the right side oh, in this I building. See. She's still here. Yeah, still living here. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. So let's continue to the next mm -hmm. room. So, uh, this is the uh, main guest room in this house. So, Mr. Chong Afi used this room to welcoming uh, his friends, his family, and Dutch government. Oh, I see. Yeah, and, Dutch government. Uh, and we can see the chair, the table, and the lamp. This is still original. Ah. And now, uh, around one year old. One year? Uh, one, 100, 100, years 100 years old. old 100 oh, years okay. old. The chair and the table made from China, and the lamp made from Europe. Yeah. And this is made from Ulin wood. This is marble. And seashell. Oh, and seashells. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever sat in one of these chairs? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's continue. So, this is Mr. Chong Afi office. Office. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Chong Afi is a businessman. He own plantation business uh, like a rubber, coconut, and coffee. And he also own three bank. Three, three banks. banks. Yeah. Like Delhi Bank, Kesawan Bank, and Batavia Bank. Yeah. And over there in the wall, we can see this is replica certificate Delhi Bank. I see. Yeah. Uh, in the certificate, Mr. Chong Afi collecting around three million golden. Yeah, three million golden. Golden is uh, all Dutch money. Right. And Mr. Chong Afi use uh, use this money to build Delhi Bank. I see. Yeah. Yeah. When he left China, he had really no money, right? Yeah. And then he came here. He came to Medan. And became a very rich start man. A, start a business, and then he have uh, he own three bank. Yeah. Three banks. Yeah, and over here we can see this is the picture Mr. Chong Afi, this is Mr. Chong Afi, with uh, the founder and owner of Batavia Bank. Oh, I see. Yeah. Nah, this is Mr. Chong Afi, and up there we can see uh, Mr. Chong Afi with his wife. Mm -hmm. And I heard that he learned to speak Malay when he came yeah. here, yeah. the local language at yeah. the time. Yeah. 
and this is a uh, Mr. Chongofi bedroom, but we cannot take a picture okay. of the video from this room. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, this is Mr. Chongofi bedroom with his third wife, and over here we can see this is original clothes oh, owned by the, the third wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over here, this is also still original, owned by the third wife. This is mm. dressing table. Okay. So we have a three wardrobe, one, two, and three, oh. and one bed. This is a one set and made from Europe. Oh, yeah. really? They look nice. Again, made of wood. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, wooden furniture is very mm -hmm. nice. And this is the picture of the wife and Mr. Chongofi when, when they were wearing uh, Turkey traditional clothes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Over here we can see this is vacuum cleaner. Uh, because this house is the, f uh, the first house to get electricity in Medad. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. If you could choose where to live, mm -hmm. would you live in a house like this or a modern apartment? What's more um, comfortable for you? Uh, uh, maybe a modern house. Yeah. Uh, I don't like. Uh, how how can I say? Uh, traditional house. I don't. I don't like. Mm. I don't like it. Over, over there, we can see this the original clothes on by Mr. Chong. Okay. And gramophone yeah. for gramophone. playing music. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is still original. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, for me, uh, like a traditional house like this is too big. I, I only need one room, mm. and like a very small one, only <laughs> this big. That's all I need. Yeah. You have so much, you have to clean yeah. all the time. Yeah. So let's continue. Uh, so uh, this is a courtyard. And the reason why the family built this widely open, uh, to make sure there is the search of like uh -huh. uh, to the house. And they believe can give blessings family. Can give? Blessings family. Oh, I see. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And over there, uh, we can see praying room for the ancestor, but we cannot take a picture okay. or video. In that direction. Okay. No problem. Okay. So. If you have a house, it would be nice to have yeah. a, a ceiling like that open to the sky. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, this is dining hall. Dining hall? Yeah. Okay. But the chair and the table over there, the chair and the table, uh, it's not still original anymore. No. But if you... Mm, but if you want to, uh, to see the original picture, uh, you can see the picture over there. Or there. Yeah. Uh, this is when this family uh, celebration Chinese New Year in this mm -hmm. house. And this is the number nine Sultan of Delhi. Okay. And this is the third wife of Mr. Chong Afi. Nice. Yeah. Big table for a big family. Yeah. And over here we can see, this is uh, the wife of Mr. Chong Afi. Mm. Her name Madam Lim Koyap. Yeah, uh, she makes between Chinese uh, Malay, uh -huh. or we call Peranakan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peranakan, yeah. I heard that word before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. So. We just uh, came out of a couple of rooms where you're not allowed to take photographs or video. One of them is the, the bedroom. That was very interesting. They had the original 
phonograph or gramophone that he used. And then this room right behind me has a lot of photographs and documentation of just the history of his life and things that he did, including the trunks that he brought from China. Like when he first came from China to here, all his luggage were in these big steamer trunks that everybody used back in those days, and he still kept them. So he seems like a man I would like because, uh, yeah, like a man who would keep the original steamer trunks his whole life. That's yeah, kind of cool. But yeah, now we're moving on to the second floor. So, yeah, we're back at the, uh, the main entryway here, and that's the uh, skylight. And uh, heading up to the uh, second floor. Ah, this is nice. Yeah. Because it has the balcony mm. right over here. So a lot of light and fresh air coming in. Yeah. It's very, very nice. So, this way. Ah, ceremonial room. Yeah, this is a uh, ballroom. Ballroom, yeah. right. So the, uh, the family uh, used this room to have a dance party. And over here we can see, this is the picture, the first daughter of Mr. Chung Afi, when she was 18 years old. Oh, okay. 18 years old. And this is when she was 90 years oh. old, before, he, uh, before she passed away. Nice. And she married with uh, the Taiwan people. Mm, 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 mm. First daughter. Yeah, first daughter. Nice. And over here, uh, this is the sixth son. Sixth yeah, son? the sixth son. And his wife from China. Oh. Yeah. And this is a uh, daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law? Yeah. From the third son, mm. and she is a Swiss Switzerland people. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say the fashion looks European. Yeah. It looks almost like photographs of my mother when she was young. Oh. Yeah, it looks very similar. Yeah. yeah. Even the car. This. Yeah. Okay. And this is the second son. Second son. And her arrived right from Taiwan. Oh. Yeah. This. And this, the fourth son. First. The four. Or third. Four, four. Fourth. Four. Okay. Fourth son. And uh, his wife from Sing Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Singapore. And they are a parent of Madame Mimi. Okay. With so many children and grandchildren, it's like yeah. they would have birthday parties and dinners all the time, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They have celebration yeah. at all. So. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Very, very nice. So, I didn't uh, know there was a room like this up here. Oh my God. So this item in this uh, room it's not still original anymore, okay. except the mirror. The mirror? Yeah. So the mirror is original? Original. Nice. If you want uh, to see the original picture of this room, you can see uh, over here. This oh. is the original picture of this room oh. back in the day. Hmm. And I guess when they have a dance, a ball, mm -hmm. they move. Yeah. Out of the way. I think this is my favorite room. I like this one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. You want to live here? Still too much space. <laughs> uh, I need a small space. <laughs> Okay. But this would be fun. Mm. And over here? Ooh. So, uh, this is the sixth son bedroom. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. And over, over there we can see the picture of the sixth son okay. with his wife. Okay. So, uh, the sixth son have three generations. Uh, used to be a professional go kart in Jakarta. Professional go kart. Go kart. Yeah. Okay. Over here we can see oh, uh, look at that. the trophy <laughs> from his generation. Right, 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 right. More modern. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. This room would be okay for me. Still too big, but I put my bed in one half, yeah. desk in mm -hmm. the other. It'd be, this one would Simple. be okay. So this is our picture spot. Oh yeah, another picture spot. Yeah. And if you want to take a picture, mm -hmm. I will take a picture from there. So my guide is going to uh, take a nice video of me way <laughs> over here on the other side. <laughs> there she is, coming around the corner. And I am standing in front of the, the ballroom. Mm. So if there was a famous dance going on behind me, I could join in. So what is your name again? I've forgotten. My name is Indah. Indah. Yeah. Now I remember. In English, uh, it means beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So, let's continue. No, I like the, the second floor. It seems more livable. Mm -hmm. Like, this area is very nice. Yeah. I could sit here drinking coffee yeah. in the morning. And then if my bedroom is over there, yeah. So I, I could live here. <laughs> First floor, that's too Traditional. grand for me. Oh yeah. But up here, this is very nice. So, oh. let's continue to the next room. Yeah. And this is the seventh sun bedroom. Oh. So, uh, like modern. So this is okay. stuff. Because uh, the seventh sun still uh, stay in this house until his passed away in 2001. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's why it uh, look uh, so modern. And over there we can see his picture with uh, his wife. And his wife. From China. Mm. Mm. So many of them, they went to other countries to find a yeah. wife. <laughs> Traditional. So the seven son uh, have a generation to be a professional golf in Golfer. Milan. And this is his trophy. His trophies. And a lot more over there too, big mm. ones. Hmm. Yeah, too big. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. No, you have to divide it into three, yeah. three pieces. You know? Make a one whole apartment. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And all of this room is a guest room I back see. in the day. Yeah. For example, this is a guest room. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for uh, yeah, visitors, yeah. this is okay. I like this room. <laughs> I could <laughs> stay here. <laughs> this is a really nice area. Again, it's open. Yeah. You can see. I yeah. like this space. Yeah, it's very nice. And this is. Uh, Mini gallery from the fourth set or oh. parent of Madame. Okay. So they are have uh, twelve children. Yeah. And Madame Mimi is number eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
And this one looks like more modern picture. Yeah. Not so formal, you know? Again, looks like my family children. when I was young. Yeah. Hmm. And this room? This is a mini gallery of uh, the five, the fifth doctor. Oh. Yeah, and she is a pianist. Mm. And she is uh, the founder, the first founder music school in Indonesia. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And she married with with Belgium people. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So up here on this part of the second floor, there are a lot of uh, guest rooms and uh, one of them here is furnished like how it would have been in the past for a visitor and then a bunch of the other rooms have been converted into uh, galleries that show the life and the hobbies of some of the family members. It's a nice part of the house as well, it's open to the sky and uh, you get a lot of light coming in. So heading back down to the first floor. Yeah. You have to be careful, yeah. pretty steep. I made it. <laughs> so we go to the kitchen. Ah, kitchen. Yeah. Also quite a traditional yeah. Yeah, like this. This is traditional furniture. Yeah. You can uh, put it some rice here and turn it. And the flower came uh, from this. Right. Yeah. When you turn it. Yeah, that's another reason why a new modern apartment might be better. <laughs> This is a lot of work. Yeah. To, to grind flour. So over over there we can see the stove. Oh. And chimney. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like this a... is um, they believe the gods of kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Of course. So that's why in here. All from wood. Wood fire, yeah, yeah. coal fire, very nice. And this is chimney. Right. Oh and God. this is uh, still original. All original. Like this. Mm Do you cook? <laughs> yeah, I do. You do? <laughs> do you think you could cook in the kitchen like this? Would you know how to do it? Yeah, I know. You of would? Of course. Yeah? Yeah. Because uh, in my home, uh, we cook, uh, we have stuff like that. You do? Yeah. Hmm. We have traditional stuff. Do you also have uh, electric or gas, but only traditional? Uh, in your house? Both of them. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I would not know how, how, huh? to, how to cook there. So, let's continue. Mm -hmm. So, let's continue to the next room. Uh, well, mm. over there we can see this is a mini library. The library. Yeah, I use uh, the family until now. And over here, uh, this is Mr. Von Prawira office. Mm. Von Prawira. Okay. So this is the picture of Mr. Von Prawira. And this is also Mr. Von Prawira. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Von Prawira uh, is uh, Mr. Chongafi grandchildren. Handsome, yeah. Little brother of Madame Mimi. Okay. Yeah. And and he is one who have idea to open this museum to public. Oh. Yeah. Okay. In 2009. 
and there was some kind of donation from an American foundation. Like yeah. they gave money to help restore it. I think I saw that yeah. on the outside. I think. Uh, I don't know where. But yeah. So uh, after Mr. Van Prawira uh, passed away in 2014, so this museum owned by Madame Mimi mm. until now. And this is the trophy to this museum. Mm -hmm. So the library. Do you think you could find a book in here you want to read? No. No? No, no, no. No Harry Potter no. books in there. <laughs> So. Well, this is testament room. And what, what did you call it? Testament room. Oh, okay. Testament room. So, you can see the picture, ceremonial, uh, the 100 years of Mr. Chong Afi. Oh, okay. After he passed away. Yeah. And over there, this is the funeral procession. I see. And Mr. Chong Afi. And he looks so young in that picture. <laughs> but you said we saw that picture somewhere else. And I think you told me how old he was in the picture? Uh, this is when he was 40 years old. 40, yeah, you said that. But he doesn't look 40. Oh, he my. looks much younger, doesn't he? At least in this picture, he does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and. This is when people in Medan want to see the funeral procession right. and help the family to bring uh, the coffin yeah, to the graveyard in Pulau Brian. Mm. It's not far from this house, uh, just uh, six kilometers from this house. Over there, you can see this is the graveyard of Mr. Chong Afi. Oh, I see. Mm. So this is the, the resting place for John yeah. Afi, and grave, his grave site. So he was very popular in his lifetime. Mm. Like not like after he died, he seems to be quite famous. But even when he was alive, people knew who he was. He was like a celebrity in a way, like so many people came for his funeral? Uh, because uh, Mr. Chong Afi, uh, uh, what can I say, many contribute the people in Medan. I see. Like uh, build a church, temple, a mosque. An orphanage yeah. for, for children. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hospitals too, yeah. I think. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yes. So yeah, that's I guess why he... the people, uh, people of Medan, uh, like to his, like, mm, 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 like mm. Mr. Chong Afi. Yeah. And this is interesting, the uh, family and this tree. This family tree of Mr. Chong Afi. So Mr. Chong Afi have three wives. Three wives. This is the first wife. Her name Madam Lee. Mm. And uh, they have children. Yeah. So, uh, they are divorced, and after that, Mr. Chong Afi married uh, to his second wife. Her name is Madam Chu from Penang, Malaysia, mm. and they have three children. And after Madam Chu passed away, mm -hmm. Mr. Chong Afi married to the third wife. Right. So, this is Madam Lim Koyak, Madam Lim. and they have seven children. And this is the parent of Madam Mimi. Ah, okay. This is name of Madam Mimi, Chong Jimmy, ah. and this is Mr. Von Prawira, Chong Chong Von. Ah. Yeah. And this is coffee coffee shop ah. with Tiongkok style. What style? Tiongkok. Tiongkok. Style Tiongkok. Okay. Chinese Chinese. Ah. Okay. And this is the picture, uh, the first house owned by Mr. Chong Afi in Guangdong, China. Oh. Oh, his, where he was born, where he lived in China? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I so see. this is the first house. Oh, interesting. Her okay, his heritage residence in China. Yeah.
Looks like he was interested in photography. His whole life, there's pictures of his whole life, even his house, but maybe somebody else took yeah. these pictures after he died. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I like this room. This is very nice. Cozy. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to buy uh, some coffee, you can go to the cashier and sit in here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. This same like like this. This is a coffee shop. Mm. So this room is open to the public. Yeah. You can buy coffee here and, and drink it there. Okay. So uh, this is our last room mm -hmm. in this tour. Thank you for visiting our museum. And uh, if you want to go to the toilet, you can go this way. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, kind of a conclusion, maybe for if a visitor comes to Madan, a tourist, why should they come here to see this house? Uh, because this house is um, have uh, many things uh, value, value, because Mr. Chongafi is a uh, kind people. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. All right, I understand, so. sort of. Because Zhang Afi, he cared about all the yeah. different cultures. Yeah. So he became kind of a symbol of diversity yeah. and tolerance. Yeah, like no, this. That's, yeah, it's very admirable. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Thank, thank you so Thank much. you very much. And the last room of the tour is actually this room. And I did say earlier on that the ballroom was my favorite room of the entire mansion. But this one, this one is a close second because they actually have a small coffee shop in here. And if you go back to the front desk, they have a cooler and you can get cold drinks and you can get cold coffee and hot coffee, anything you like at the front desk. And then you can enjoy it here. Big fan blowing down cool air, amazing room you really feel like you're still in the museum because you are. This is one of the original rooms of the uh, Chong Afi mansion. This is great. Wonderful way to end a you know, visit to this mansion. When I visit a new city or spend time in a new place, what I like to do is go to the museums first. And then I understand a little bit of the history of the city and then I understand everything I see better, and I understand the place better. But for Madan, it worked out very well that I went to a lot of the historic buildings, you know, the mosque, the palace, the museums, walking around all of the streets, the heritage buildings, and then towards the end of my time here, I've come to see the Zhang Afi mansion, and that seems to be a good way to do it because as I talked about at the beginning, the life of Zhang Afi is threaded throughout the entire history of Madan. Um, even the buildings, the businesses, the companies, he's had such an influence on the entire city. It's really quite interesting. And he has such a high reputation because of his, not only because of his uh, philanthropic work, which was extensive, uh, much more than I realized, but also because he made sure to work with all the different cultural and ethnic groups that made up Madan. Because of the plantation life here, there were workers from India, workers from China, workers from Sumatra, a lot of workers from Java, I believe. So people came here from other parts of Indonesia to work in the plantations surrounding uh, Madan. So Zhang Afi, he seemed to have a knack for mediating between all the different, all the different nationalities and all the different ethnic groups that were all working together here in Madan. And because of his ability to do this mediation amongst the groups, he became quite important to the Dutch authorities and to the Sultanate of Delhi. He became friends with all of them 
and then his life kind of went on from there. A really extraordinary life story. So I found that very, very interesting to see the house, the mansion that he built as a wedding gift for his third wife and uh, to see the place where he lived. And I think this house is a very good representation of the man and what he was all about. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my cold drink here in the... Uh, in the coffee shop of the Chong'e Fee Mansion. And uh, yeah, I recommend it highly. If you're in town, drop by, get a, a guided tour. And I want to thank Adina, my uh, guide. She did a very good job and she knew everything about the exhibits and the various rooms. So I enjoyed that very much. Thank you, Adina. And I will see all of you out there on Planet Doug in the next video. Mm -hmm.